He has to make this a war between me and him because the reality is bigger than him, myself. And it, listen, and I want a man to know I'm not out to kill. I'm not out to kill or wound or do anything to anybody. You know, that's not the motive of this. Smack him up from wherever, wherever. But that's not the motive of this. Like, don't get it twisted. Like, I'm watching a man do me a wrong and like Rude. strong as well. But cool. That tells me we know what we're doing. That tells me we're going in the right way. That tells me that Rude. there's others like you. So it's not even, I'm like, but I don't even want to get my head in that space. I really don't, because it's just a drawer. It's literally, oh, yeah, there's, oh, not, there's yeah. nothing else but a drawer in it. I know. Gigs, I want to pick up gigs, like gigs, like the, 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 the brand, the, what's that thing? Drag the cats back in, yeah, you bring me up. Shut up, man. Gigs ain't done one behind bars for you. You only do shit, you shit your mind games. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, it might not punch in your face, I will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even putting myself in. Listen, bro, I'm drawing pictures. That, like, you see my mutual dumb mornings? But yeah. what, what do my mutual dumb mornings look like? I draw pictures. Come with your dumb stop, mind games, I'm all right, bro. I'm, I'm like, listen to me. I'm not, to, to, and I want to make it very clear, like, to... I want to say... I um, just don't... I ain't got time, bro. you know, like, just shut up, bro. Don't be rude, innit? Hmm. You know, I'm just pissed I got drawn out in the first place, I'm honest. Like, the fact that I knew that I didn't... Every, every emotion I didn't want to be in in this process that every emotion has... The only silver lining about this thing... I'll be honest with you, bro. Like, everyone around you can tell me, bro. I can tell you this. When the personal attack started, like, when I saw the video yesterday, I said to my BM today, I saw the video, I'm seeing what he's trying to call me, how he's trying to paint the picture. If I wasn't mentally ready for all of this, it would it would have affected... And then when I look at that, and even when he took down my video, I remember saying to Joey, like, <laughs> you look crap me up. Imagine I cared. Imagine I cared about this rap shit. Because you're, you're saying I care so much, so imagine I did care. This would be killing me. You're trying to kill me. You're, you're maybe trying to make me commit suicide. So, like, the fact that you're doing that, I know why you're doing that, which is cool. I we don't, we don't, we don't want to go on to that. But now, now the silver lining is there's actually something positive. Oh, let me just say something. There's, there's something positive which is going to come from it. So then, like, when, he's like, when, when he was doing the field, when all that was happening, you've got to remember what, where man's life's been and what, what we're due to lose and what's, what the plan. Blah, I'm in a 15-year plan. I've been planning this shit for about 15 years and he knows this. So anyway, so what happened? I'm late, I'm sitting, I'm, my eyes are closed, I'm like, but I didn't feel anything. I just felt calm because I felt like the positiveness that was going to come out of this. I could go into my DMs, I could go into my inbox, I could see the amount of people with common sense in their head that know that something's been wrong and finally there's something which has popped up. They could say, we might get to what's wrong, you know? Because most people know what's wrong, like our kids are killing each other. Like, we know something's not right. We know, like, the hyperventilated state that our industry's in. We know that there's a predatory feeling. We know yeah. something's not right. I but we never knew exactly what it was. This yeah. is a key element to it, because this yeah. is where the, the education gets pulled. This is where a lot of things happen. So if we they, can replace yeah. this, yeah. we can do a lot. And that's what, for me, all of the personal attacks, all of the shit, even looking like a mug posting a hundred things, it is worth it if, at the end, we can set a president. And I'm seeing what's going on, and I'm saying, yo... No matter what, things will change, bro. Mm. This ain't about win or lose. Listen, wars are one in attrition, you know? Mm. So if you want to be real businesses, be real businesses. Cool. Things will change. Mm. That's all that matters. So that thinking is the only thinking which is making me keep this level of calm. Yeah. And knowing that finally, people are going to realise, yo, I'm not mad, you know? Mm -mm. <laughs> like, I don't like you lot. That's cool. Mm. We're cool with that. But I also feel like age is an honour. Mm. Yeah, I think age is an honour. All this time, and these guys want to have fun about, oh, he's old, he's 50, this, he's 50. I wish I was 50. Inshallah, I'll make it to 50. Do you understand what I'm saying? When you know what I'm saying? Because there's people that just drop out. And then they're saying that people that just drop out. And then they're saying, oh, no, he was so no, young, you know I'm he was saying, so young. People that just drop out. I'm enjoying every inch of this age. I'm enjoying every inch of this age. I would say age is an honour. It's a rough honour, isn't it? I'm enjoying every inch of this age. And I noticed that as soon as you reach certain ages, it's like, yeah, you're da 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 But, like, my thing is... Bad man, but I'm not 30. You're 30 now, though, innit? Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? That was just that like was, um, a Merkel man. But I'm saying that like, no matter like you get what I'm saying, I'm yeah, bad man, but I'm not thirty. You're thirty now, bro. Everybody has 30. to get there. That's what you I'm saying. Everyone thinks I don't have when, to get there. I remember when I remember when I was young and I used to look up man that's thirty. Do you get me? Old man. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. But then you reach and thirty. Then you reach the level. You have to know. You have to know. I always say to people, the thirties were the thirties were harder than the forties. What you have to me and you have to realize is you got to wonder what you're gonna look like or how you're gonna be or what your lifestyle's gonna be at that time. Because all it's of us, all of us, let me, I was let young me just spring. Land, let me just I mean, my name is Young Spring. We don't all do this. All, 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 all of us know, I'm saying it. No, just all, to oh, say what you're saying. Us, no, say, say what you're saying. Oh, we just don't just, do Okay, I'm land. saying, yeah. but let me just say what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 
We know the beginning from the end. We don't know the end from the beginning. Life is short. Nobody knows what's going to be for the next person. Do you get me? A big life lesson in all of this, what I can see is ownership. Yeah. You need to start owning your own things. You see, like if we did yeah. RTM That's podcast it. show on That's somebody it. else's platform That's and we it. fell out, all our things would be taken That's off. It. That's, That's, it. That's why we That's chose it. to do it on our own. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's why we didn't run to the hub. Do you get me? That's why we didn't run to the hub. What I'm trying to say, what I'm saying is, you've got to know, you've got to know you got to know you got to know Everyone wanted to go to the hub. Well, you got to know about this. TV base 79, and then after phone, yeah, you got to know about that. Well, you got to know, what you got to know about this microwave industry is, you're only, um, you're only, worth something to them while they can use you. As soon as they can't use you, they're you, you're useless. Do you understand? Yeah, and you and him, like you, just, like you said on no. the last episode, what you was doing with us, he was your brother. He knew how certain Mad. things felt. He knew how close Crazy. your project was to your chest, innit? But now he's on podcast talking about 50, living in the past, TV, mocking everything what you do. Yeah, but he wasn't he was saying even, that on no, the phone. No, I said... I when said, you lot was cool, do you but, know what I'm but saying? But you understand? He didn't... He was even... On the podcast, he didn't just say you was wrong about that. He was actually <coughs> insulting your intelligence. Mm. He didn't know those things when he was doing the podcast with you. He didn't know that you was a 50-year-old getting up, smoking your spliff, watching dark and cold DVDs when he, was, when he wanted to do Mother with you that's why you need to know what people's uh, intentions yeah. are when they come to work with you yeah. look in people's inner <coughs> that's why I deal with energy do you know the funny do you thing understand what well? I'm mm-hmm. saying mm-hmm. Because if my I don't care what you look like I don't care what you're saying to me I'm dealing with your energy because yeah, you see from I can see darkness I'm keeping it pushing you know, and the thing is that he's, moving, he's moving like the darkness is coming from, from this you because he said everything on your team is negative 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 rare 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 like you don't do your thing but the truth is bro like not like that and I don't even cause see with me fam Shit. see like even when I'm getting mad with Rashid and all that but for me to even say things to him see for me to say or put down Rashid I swear down yeah well lahi I feel like I'm bullying that's how much I don't rate him as a rude boy mm. do you get what I'm trying to say so I don't even want to say but I just can't believe the rudeness that he came at because I watched it but I actually expected him to come diplomatically and you know he's explain hurt. himself he's hurt. and he's not hurt. be he's rude hurt. and hurt. Hurt. like what are you talk even like even with the thing and I was just thinking bro like man it's stupid as well like little things man saying like yeah do you know like why are you even talking about gigs and all that shut up man like just little yeah, things because I know what you're running in do you get what I'm trying to say I'm not like do you know what I mean what, what, is, what, what it is what it is he has to draw me out in order for this to work but that's what I'm trying to say the thing and this is where God 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 God, God, God yo I'm God, God is me great. and my mom was cool you know? this though, but hear this though. God is great I'll tell you what happened yeah when the gravitate hit me of what's going on, because you got to remember, like, bro, like I said, I've never played the industry game, you know, I don't fuck with this shit. But I mean, I wanted the people to see for a little minute that this thing's through gazy, to a certain extent, not all of it, but a good majority of it. Like, and, 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 and be able to be in a place where we can say, like, this is what's happening and people paying attention, yeah? We're here now. So, like, when this first happened, when that realisation started to hit me, like, hold on, Mike, you could start, because my phone, I'm, I'm speaking to all the right people right now, good people, like there's other platforms that I'm saying, bro, you lot need that idea you got, I'd rather help give you the idea and you lot did that with your platform and that, right, that's what I'm on. I'm on LinkedIn, who's doing the right things. And and if they need like the information to help, I'm on all that. We've, if, if they want legal and all that, we're on all that. So like, so when that's like dawned on me that, that that could happen, everything that he was going to say or do, it, it didn't, it, 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 I no longer heard it. Does that make sense? Like, because, mm-hmm. The grab like, and that's why God's great because He gave me the Talisa case already. He gave me the bait mates already. He gave me the bits already. Like I'm fully equipped to say <laughs> I'm good, you know. Like, what's what's gonna happen? We're gonna sit back in our real life. <laughs> you know, come on, yesterday. What I say yesterday? We're gonna sit back in our real life. I put a little bad beat on something crazy. Like my life's crazy. Get yeah, the this whatever. But. So at the end of the day, we're gonna go back and return to our real life when the shit's turned off. I don't wanna be involved in none of this shit, bro. I'm moving forward. Like, what's like, cause do you know what? Don't, can't you see nothing? Can't you see can't you see yourself patterning back with Rashid at all? Yeah. Like to even sort out, cause you might even be able to help him, bro. Yeah. Bro, let me tell you something. Like, I see his he's like, oh, I've never worked with Mike and all this. We never worked together anyway. It's no, but he's just saying he don't no, want to do no, what he's also trying to do. Maybe he might. Person or no, he's trying to paint a picture with his clothes. No, this is another thing. He's trying to paint a picture with his clothes. He's trying to paint a picture with his clothes. We was never close. That's the picture he's trying to paint. In order to fulfill this thing, he needs to say, oh, me and we was never that close, bro. The truth is, and this is the truth, and I mean this. But you called him your brother. Yep, I called my brother because he was the last of the lot. And I say this to say, no, no, but I say this to say this. I'll be honest. 
this is the God's honest truth here, bro. Mm. You know, come on, and you know. Yeah, exactly. Me. So what I'm trying to say is that with music and with the music thing, yeah, I know it's this anal. I swear to God, it's this anal. Like I said, I've got a devil's eye. Why for that? Is this what? It's this, that's what it's called. Meaning you're single-minded to a purpose. When Why for that? All right, cool. Fuck it. Let me get to the point. That's that's it, it, that's business lingo. But all right, it's this simple. What the? Uh, it's cool, this cool. simple. Now you it's mean this funny? This funny? Where was I? Where was I? Where was I? <laughs> <laughs> like, why but when I say, why did last? What did I say before that? I can't ever remember. You see what I'm saying to you? Is uh, this is RTM podcast? We can't deal with all of them wise, man. But basically, in a nut, I forgot what the fuck I was gonna say. You're a nutter. Yeah, cause why for that, bro? That word. He was saying about him dealing with you. He said he don't want to deal with you no more. Is that where we was at? Yeah, I was just saying that. Can't you see you a, say, can't can't you a point? That you can't can see a point that you can like, get to reconcile with him? Is it just a thing where you reckon like, you lot can agree to disagree that maybe you lot can't work on a project together? Oh, no, 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 like, no, 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 that's where I go back to. No, I remember for I remember for We was never that close. Now, in this thing, I like to keep my life as simple as possible. In order to do the stuff that I've got to do in my life, I need it as simple as possible. Everyone around me knows this. Is this a lie, bro? Is this a lie? No. Is this a lie? Simplicity is how we do life. People say, man, like, how can you do comics? How can you do a little bit of rapping? How can you feed your kids? How can you keep it moving? Simplicity, keeping things within their time frames. So, within music, I've got a handful of people that I still talk to. Like, I don't talk to anybody else. I know there's a handful. Jamal was one. Joey was one. Rashid was now and then. Jamal was the other. The guy at Max became the other. It was maybe one or two, but in, within me, and that, that I took pride in that, the fact that I could talk to like three people and still keep my career ticking over. Mm-hmm. Like, that was it, and Rashid made that list. And that was it. And I could swear on everybody I love, my son and everybody forth, that is the truth. That was a, a handful. Because you know me, I don't fuck with, look at my, look at the, my followers, it stacks up to that. So mm-hmm. I don't fuck with nobody, that like, was on that list. So we, as far, and that list ain't my friends. <laughs> like, no, they're, they're, not, they're not my friends. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Spirit, do we, not, do we not talk like this? <laughs> yeah. Like, do I not say I love you to the cast? Come on, man, I'll trust you for the throw. This is my dog. <laughs> but one day he might say, fuck this, and I need my dog. Click, clack. I don't know, my nigga. He goes mad sometimes. <laughs> Boom. Listen, but he's a good guy now. Don't worry. I don't, see, I don't think he's there now. But 10 years ago, you never know with this guy. He, he, I love him. Boom. But my point is, <laughs> like, you put people in the right places to get to where you've got to go to with a minute. So as far as them, was they're not my mates. Jamal became something different later for what he done for me. And that relationship built because he put me in front of people that helped me with my life. Right. So as far as I was concerned, you are my... You see, that, what the last three, when I said last three stars, do you want to give my deal? <laughs> I'm laughing. Go on, my brother. You're my brother forever. You've done something for me. Rashid never done shit for me. Ever. I, like, the only... See Skins for me there? Um. That's the only reason I ever linked them niggas, bro. Skins will be around them and play them something. Yeah, get Mike and, get Mike and phone him. 